I'm Tree and this is Stitchless TV. Now today I'm going to show you how I made the 60s Bieber style dress from Made in Dagenham, especially as I have to make another one. So for my version of the dress, because I only had the photo to go by, I've done a slight puff on the head of the sleeves, a turn up, I've used a satin back crepe fabric because then I thought it'd feel nice inside. I pre-washed the fabric first. The people that I've made it for are teeny weeny tiny but I've given them bust darts and waist darts. We've got a large kind of 60s stroke 70s style collar. Uh, an actual button front, they, they work. Now something about the buttons, which you might find quite amazing, I couldn't get square buttons. And I couldn't get the uh, two diamonds together, white plastic or whatever, for the buckles. So do you know what I did? I got their DT department, so I got huge round buttons for these ones, and then these were bigger round buttons, and I just got them to grind them. I just got them to grind them down into squares. So also on the dress, it has a box pleat at the front. I've put a side zip. I didn't do a blind zip because when they're in a hurry, you can't risk like the fabric being caught or anything. So you want it to like definitely, definitely be easy to do up. Oh, the neck, when I finished off, um, so I, when I did the neck, I just put some bias binding here so that it looks kind of neat, the back. So the back has a box pleat as well. Two darts in the bodice. But because I was unsure about because originally it was two girls sharing a dress but it's not like that anymore hence me making another one um, I thought the easiest way to deal with it would be just to have um, velcro so I've just done a velcro back and then I did a chain for the belt loops on the sides so I think I'm just going to start making the next one and I'll tell you what I did as I go along. Before I begin I want to tell you something about the uh, fitting process because for all sorts of reasons I didn't get to take the measurements of the actors. So what I did was this. I think it's quite a good idea. I got them to put a blouse, bring a blouse in that fitted them, put it on with a skirt, like a fairly fitted skirt. Then I got someone to mark where the, the skirt met the blouse, so I therefore knew where the waist line was. Uh, so they marked that with pins. And that's what I received for each actor. So then when I'd done that, had my really rough pattern, look at the state of it, I then cut it out of the fabric. It's probably not ideal to film the making of a dress when you're really in a hurry to make it, but let's see how we get on. 